To allow iSyncer to connect over Wi-Fi, first we need to download iSyncer Desktop, which you can do from our website. And once it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and run. Okay, once we've done that, now we're going to assume that you walk through the installation. You see the S icon on your tray. Open up Menu Settings. Go to Network and Internet, then select Windows Firewall. From here, we're going to select Allow an App or Feature, and then click Change Settings at the top to adjust the settings. As you can see, it's already configured in ours. You want to select both Private and Public. And once you're done there, you're going to back out and go to Advanced Settings. New rule, select port, TCP, and the specific port is 3400. Once you do this, select next, go ahead and allow the connection, then select, you can type in a name if you like, and then select finish. And that's it. Now you're able to connect iSyncer with iSyncer Desktop to sync iTunes to Android. If you have any questions, email us at isinker at grcstudio.com.